Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdell here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos, A Beginner's Guide to Calculus. Now in previous videos, we talked about how to solve inequalities that involve absolute values. So I'm going to do another example in this um, video, a slightly more difficult example. So let's just remember what we looked at last time. So we had something like this. We were looking at inequalities of this type, where x is the unknown and you want to, uh, a is a number and b is a number. And the idea, at least from the procedural point of view, was to solve this, find x, using either algebra or geometry and then make x the subject. So, I'm going to show you two ways to solve the following problem. Now, if you look at this and this, you go, hang on, the, the sign's round the wrong way, and there's a 4x there, a negative 4x, and there's a positive 1x there. How do we, how do we manage this away? Okay, well... The way that you can do this is to interpret absolute values as distances. Okay, so if I look at this, firstly I've got 5 minus 4x. What I would like to do is manage away the, the negative 4. Okay? So, um, and make it x minus something. Okay, so how would I do that? Well, I can do it this way. Let me just bring in another sheet of paper here. Firstly, I can write this as 4x minus 5 is greater than 2. And because the distance from 5 to 4x is the same as the distance from 4x to 5, okay? The distance between me and you is the same as the distance between you and me. Okay? So, in this example, let's write it in this way, and then we'll manage away the 4, okay? So divide everything by 4. So 2 divided by 4 give you a half. So now you can see this is kind of like what we had up here. All right, so what does this mean? This means we're looking for the x points that are greater than one half of a unit away from the number 5 on 4. Okay? We're looking for those x values that are greater than half a unit away from 5 on 4. Okay, so I can actually draw this on the number line, draw the solution on the number line now, and see how we go. So this is the geometric or the visual way of doing something. All right, so let's um, draw in 5 on 4. And I go half a unit to the right, half a unit to the left. So 5 on 4 plus a half will be 7 on 4. And 5 on 4 minus a half will be 3 on 4. Okay, so if I'm to draw in my solution, we want all those points here that are at least half a unit away from 5 on 4. Okay, so from the number line, x is less than 3 quarters, or x is greater than 7 on 4. So that's the visual way of doing it, okay? 
Now, what about the algebraic way of doing it? Well, it's still good to do this for the algebraic way, but um, let's let's actually look at this. Basically, what we do is we start with this. We write down exactly what's here without the absolute value signs. Then we write down the same thing and then change the two signs here. Okay, so that's the algebraic way of doing uh, that. that that's, let's look at the algebraic way of doing it. Okay, so let's start here. Now the tricky way about this, if this was a less than sign here, you could combine what we're doing, but we can't. So we need to form, form sort of two lines of attack here. So we have 5x minus 4 greater than 2, uh, sorry, 4x minus 5 greater than 2, or 4x minus 5 less than negative 2. Okay, that's how you do it. So you solve these two inequalities separately and then that'll give you two intervals and they should be the same intervals that we got up here. Okay, so let's try that. So if I add 4 to both sides, I get 4x is greater than 7. Or, so let's add 5 to both sides here. 4x is less than negative 2 plus 5, which is 3. So now we just divide everything by positive 4. And we get that. And that is the same as what we've got up here. Okay, so let's just highlight that. Okay, fantastic. So two ways of doing those problems. Geometrically, through a number line and a picture, and thinking of absolute value as a distance. And then using algebra to... Uh, um, to basically remove the absolute value signs and form two problems that you have to solve. Okay, now in, in some other um, questions, if, there, if that was a less than two, less than two here, um, you could combine this as one inequality, okay, but you can't do it if, it's, if you've got the greater than. Okay, why? Well, I will leave you with that question. If you have any questions, any comments, um, love to hear them. Uh, hope to see you soon again for my next video. Bye everyone.